Murder. This I'm used to. You have to be in the world I live in. The gift of life means nothing in this cold reality. Men are traded like football stickers. Once the word has been sent, it's hard to escape the grave. And I hear you ask, does it scare me? Living like this, I mean. Well, I tell you, I go to bed most nights wishing I would not wake up the next day. Things like this happen day in, day out. It's like a conveyor belt or a bounce from the door of a club. One in, one out. No matter how big a puppet you are, because that's all you are, a puppet, controlled by the all-powerful master puppeteer. But who controls the puppeteer? Surely he must have to answer to somebody. Now think about this. Was what I did really that bad or punishable by death? But in the world I work in, it's the one thing you never, ever do. I knew what was coming to me. I was fully aware of the consequences, yet somehow still had the guile to go through with it. Just kept saying in my mind, in this civilized world we live in, how can such a barbaric operation like this exist? Taking a life for personal gain and keeping possessions as trophies is sick. I still find it ironic that the hunter in the end always becomes the hunted. This is classic survival rules. That's it. The end. Short and sweet. But was it worth it? That I'm not so sure of. He knew what was going on. He knew I was going to grass up the firm. He was well connected. Even the coser I gave the information to was on his payroll. But I had the last laugh. Even if I had by some form of a miracle ended up alive. I had his drink spiked, just in case. 